Welcome to ENT channel. Today I will be discussing about disability certificate for hearing handicap. In our country, which is the second largest country in the world, it's home to 63 million deaf people. So large is the number, but still our deaf community only one in four is meaningfully employed. 99% of deaf people even they are not able to reach till class 10. So illiteracy practically and uh, lack of knowing they are eligible for the deaf benefits in government schemes. Uh, most of this sector is largely unemployed. For helping the handicapped people, government has defined 21 diseases under which hearing handicap is also one of the disease. And this comes under PWD Act, Persons with Disability Quota. And 4% seats are reserved in government sectors undertaking for such person, handicap quota or viklanta. For this, they need to have secure one UDID certificate, Unique Disability ID certificate from a uh, government uh, either through online or through offline mode. With this certificate, they are eligible from ADIP scheme, Assistance for Disabled Persons scheme through Ministry of Social Justice and Welfare. Well, the question is who issues this hearing disability certificate? A me medical board at the state and district level issues this certificate which comprises medical superintendent or chief medical officer or civil surgeon, ENT specialist and a audiologist. You can apply for such certificate on the website swavlambancard.gov.in. The link of which is given in the description. Just click on the link. While applying online, you should keep your these certificates handy. Adhar card, birth certificate, proof of residence, hearing test report and your own medical report. This certificate is valid for 5 years and you need to apply for renewal after every 5 years on the same portal. Your rights are covered under Disability Act 2016 in which a deaf is described as a person having 70 decibel hearing loss in speech frequencies in both the ears and Hard of hearing means a person having 60 to 70 decibel hearing loss in speech frequencies in both ears. Methodology applied is first you have to undergo pure tone audiometry and speech discrimination score in both the ears. If suppose hearing test is inconclusive, either you are, you are too young to participate in this test or your mental ability precludes you from participating in this test, then it, Emittance audiometry or BARA test can be done to reach a conclusion. Suppose if a person is not able to hear in all the four frequencies, then it is concluded that hearing loss is 95 decibel, which corresponds to 100% disability. Well, well, hearing threshold of each year separately because it is uh, compared with the percentage disability score. You can see on the screen. 0 to 25 which considered as a 0% disability which uh, up to 25 decibel hearing threshold it is considered as normal. Suppose uh, you have a 40 decibel uh, hearing threshold then you have a 8% disability. If you have 60 decibel hearing threshold then it is, it is a 40 decibel uh, hearing disability. 40% hearing disability. If you have a 70 decibel speech threshold hearing threshold then you have a 57 percent social disability in hearing and if you have a 95 decibel hearing threshold then you have a 100 percent disability so once you have a percentage disability score for each year then uh, through a formula we calculate the combined hearing disability by this formula better year hearing disability is multiplied by 5 which is added to the poorer year hearing disability and the sum of which is divided by 6 to give a uh, final answer and if you your hearing disability score crosses above 40 percent then you are eligible for this certificate your hearing disability can also be categorized mild moderate severe performed by the your ENT doctor now let's study the example suppose you in the one year you have a 95 decibel hearing loss in the other year 20 decibel hearing loss so 95 decibel hearing loss qualify you as a 100% disability but 20 decibel hearing loss in other year is considered as almost normal. So 
जीरो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय फाइव प्लस हंड्रेड विच गिव्स यू हंड्रेड डिवाइडेड बाय सिक्स गिव्स यू सिक्सटीन परसेंट ऑलमोस्ट सो विच इज प्रैक्टिकली नॉर्मल हियरिंग बिकॉज थ्री शोल्ड ऑफ रीचिंग हियरिंग डिसेबिलिटी फॉर सर्टिफिकेट पर्पज इज फोर्टी परसेंट सो यू विल नॉट क्वालिफाई फॉर यू डी आई टी सर्टिफिकेट सो लेट स्टडी द एग्जाम्पल टू इन द एग्जाम्पल टू If you have a sixty decibel hearing loss in both ear, so that come that become forty percent disability. So forty multiplied by five plus forty gives you to forty upon six means forty percent disability, and you are just at the threshold of getting a uh, hearing disability certificate, which comes under hard of hearing. And going to example three, if right ear is thirty decibel. Which correspond to one percent hearing disability. Left ear has a eighty decibel hearing loss, which correspond to seventy four percent hearing disability. So one multiplied by five, which give you five, which we add to the uh, worst ear, which is seventy four percent disability. So sum of which is seventy nine, which is again divided by six, gives you thirteen percent hearing disability. So you see, the better ear has a high influence on overall score. If you have a very good ear, even one ear. so that can lower your uh, hearing disability score so uh, example 3 person will not uh, be qualifying for getting hearing disability certificate so i'm i'm sure you can calculate now yourself and i hope this example and uh, this uh, talk uh, would have helped you by now by understanding something about how a hearing disabled person can get a udid certificate which would eventually help him To, to secure government jobs and some other benefits thank you